This is Charisma Pedole in New York, Nibiru, planet spaceship is to the left, right above the sun. Now it's turning all around to the left side, around. And it's on Aces, northeast, 25 degrees, which is not common. Should be on the west now, that is getting in the sun. But it's in the northeast, as I tell you, I just measure it. Nibiru Planet Spaceship, as I saw it in the last video, um, it had a little different behavior in the spaceship part, which looked like if it was changed to one that I saw like two days ago that he was interacting with. And it's a little rectangular one, little rectangular one, and it's white also, but it's bigger. It looks bigger because of the shape. It is a different like rectangle shape. Well, anyhow, this is just a small video to have the checkup of how Nibiru is behaving and what he's doing, the aces he's what. The magnetic field, well, of course, it's being moved and balanced to the electric, I explained. And also, the interesting thing is about the photons. They are balancing the photons, and now I can see that Nibiru is over the light of the sun in the rays because he's working in the bioplasmatic uh, field, which is the zero point, and he can be now in the negative space of anti-gravitation and also at, the, at what is called the speed of light. And he, in the negative space, the, the filming is a negative also because it's in a negative space, it's virtual. I don't touch it with my five senses and that's the reason Nibiru goes over the light of the sun or rays of the sun in the photon quantum contact from 266,000 kilometers per second to 300,000 kilometers per second. That is something that is shown in my matrices of the quadrature of the circle. When you see that Nibiru is a ball, it's over the, the buildings, over the tracks of the, of the metro, but it's because he's in the rays of the sun. That is one of the demonstrations of it. Well, anyhow, I have a lot of things to do now. I'm working. I just want to be very grateful to my fans in Facebook, in YouTube channel, and of course, Facebook team that helps me so much. And there is the mirror in the rise of the sun. I see him because now the sun is not so hard that he's just above the tracks and that's the condition that the UFOs of Andromeda, not the orbs, the UFOs had because they are not in the third dimension reality even if we see them. I see them, you see them because they are in the negative space of the negative of the film or the negative of the pictures. It's something not easy to understand, but following my matrices of the quadrature of the circle, your understanding will be open, and it's not a reflection of the camera. I deeply tell you, Charisma Pedole in New York, having a lot, lot of work here. Now it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. It's moving, you see? <laughs> I am not moving the camera, it's Nibiru spaceship, planet spaceship that is moving up. It's going now to the sun in the rays of it because he's traveling through the photons and the quantum. Quantum is the wave and the photon is the particle. That is the contact of two realities, a dimension and an anti-dimension, a positive space and a negative space-time. So, for all of you that have an understanding that is open and that can understand that now the work is doing in the alkaline part, not in the acid part, which is third dimension. It's doing in the alkaline part, which is the fourth. The touch by first the zero point and then afterwards it'll go further, further accelerations. Now it's just a bioplasmatic feel which is, uh, it feels that it's um, like our alchemy singing bowls that I wore, my beloved ones. 
We have a transparent bowl and we have an opaque bowl. The, a transparent bowl has the mission to work the energetic bodies, which is the emotional, the mind, the soul, and the spirit. And also, it downloads photon. I mean, I downloads quantum, the vibration, the wave. And then, the opaque bowls are the ones that work the physical body. <laughs> My cap went away, so... That, that work the physical body in third dimension because they absorb light as photons. And the transparent bowls, as you can see in the Vero spaceship now, it's transparent. It, it is because it's downloading quantum from uh, the anti-dimension part, which is now the contact of the zero point in order to enter interdimensionally to third dimension. My blessings to all of you. It's a mess here. <laughs> I am bombarded by the metro because at this time it is very, very crowded. Crowded. Well, I see that Nibiru spaceship has the balloon or parachute type that is controlling the speed of light and the acceleration, the acceleration it does, and it's also controlling the geometrical figures. He's working mostly with a 72 degree angle. I've seen it in another very good photo of a better camera. A camera from my friend of Mesa, Arizona. And it's, it's, it's quite important that I ask you that it's not that I am not able to buy another camera. I need a better phone camera done by donations of people because this work is done for everybody. I am putting my time, my knowledge, and my heart to help most people to understand the shifting of consciousness and the way Planet Ship Nibiru is helping us. So I very kindly ask you, if any one of you from all my friends in Facebook can donate me a better camera cell phone, I have a 4 gigas Android, Samsung. So anything that is better will be good so I can take more uh, pixels, have more pixels and better images for all of you. Now as you can see, as I can see too because I am seeing with my physical eyes, Nibiru has been over the tracks, over, over the buildings, but it's not a reflex. It's going with the rays of the sun and its, and its displacement in the photon quantum content. Well, my beloved, now it's up. Now you can see it very well, it's way up. And it's moving as a spaceship to the left very fast. And now it's approaching the sun and it's doing uh, rhythmical geometrical figures. And then I can see the balloon parachute with the 72, 72 degree, which is the zero point. So he can enter interdimensionally both dimensions. The dimension of the physical reality of a compressed energy in mass and the anti-dimension, which is a mirror image on a negative charge space-time. So there is my beloved Nibiru Anunnakis. Here I am, Charisma and Pedole, your contact in the capital of the world, New York. New York, bless you. The parachute there.